Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am excited today to talk about 2022, the notes shifting into Taurus and Scorpio, and obviously the next 18 months with the notes in Scorpio and Taurus and what that actually means in the grand context of, you know, what we are experiencing in the world and everything that will be happening moving forward because when the notes shift, into a new sign or into a new axis in astrology it means that we as a collective have a new assignment from source to learn and expand and grow and to let go of things that hold us back and for the last 18 months we had the nodes in gemini and sagittarius more specifically the north node in gemini and i did a video about the nodes in gemini and sagittarius and what that could actually indicate and it's funny because I filmed that video pre-COVID, you could say, and I even said that, you know, with the notes, South Node and Sagittarius could mean that we have to move away from traveling, right? And what happened, all of the lockdowns and all of the travel restrictions. So interesting, right? Um, and now, obviously, we want to know what's coming with the notes in Taurus and Scorpio. And I think it aligns very perfectly with... 2022 already because it's a from numerology speaking it's a number six year which is associated with venus and taurus the nodes or the north node will be in taurus ruled by venus so venus will be the ruler of our north node before we had the nodes in gemini and that means that mercury was the ruler of our destiny and it made a lot of sense because so much about the last 18 months was about us really learning and observing the mind and seeing our mind and our thoughts from a different perspective in order to move forward and in order to be able to let go of these limiting beliefs, patterns, thoughts, all of the things that were associated or is associated with the South Node and Sagittarius where we had to let go of limiting beliefs in order to expand and grow. And if we were able to do that over the last 18 months, I feel that this North Node in Taurus will really be the starting point of us stepping into such a beautiful human experience. I think the highest expression of this North Node in Taurus is the universe saying, now that you've worked through all of the shit, you've worked through all of the shadow, right? South Node in, in Scorpio. Now you get to experience the bliss and the beauty of being on this earth plane, of being a human, of being in human form as a spirit, as a soul. and. That's really what I see as the highest expression here, but obviously it won't be that easy because the North Node is usually always something that is so, so, so uncomfortable for us that we cannot really see that we can even reach that point, right? Where we have to have a hard time, to, or we, we don't have to have a hard time, but we usually have a hard time moving towards that point. But the North Node always tries to pull us, tries to get us, tries to get our attention really because it would be the place where we are more, the most comfortable and also where we have to grow and um, expand the most so it has a lot to do I mean Taurus the archetype has so much to do with the earth as well with the five elements with the senses sensuality um, self-pleasure and yeah obviously resources and money and how you can sustain yourself and survival so all of these things will definitely be a big big topic over the next 18 months and the challenge will be the south node in scorpio which means that we will be first of all on a personal level we have to be able to let go of the shadows that still linger in our system and what i see for 2022 already is that it's the year where we cannot hide anymore and the reason i say that it, it was really dominant um literally when we started the year that we cannot hide anything anymore and especially not from ourselves and so even if you are spiritual and you've done so much work and you've done so much healing already i promise you there is this one shadow that you thought you would get away with and 
you cannot you cannot if you want to feel that full bliss and that heaven on earth situation with the north node in taurus you have to be able to even address that shadow and to let it go and at the same time what i also feel with this north node in taurus is the universe telling us that even though we have shadows even though we still have things to clear it doesn't mean that we have to pause our life and pause our pleasure and pause our bliss and pause our human experience up until the point where we've dissolved and resolved and learned through all of the traumas because that will never happen we will never come to this point where we don't have any shadows to clear anymore because if we get to this point there is no point on being here anymore and then we would leave this earth plane so i think it's also a lot about this balance between yes we do the shadow work we do the clearing we do the deep dive we do all of the things but at the same time we get to be human right and so balancing that out i feel like a lot of people especially with the lockdowns and with all of the things that have been happening and i've been talking to many of my clients and even friends many of us really miss being human right just doing human things like me included I at, just, at some point I was just like telling my friend that I just want to have a glass of wine I just want to party and dance all night for for once again right because I've been so in my spiritual bubble so I think that's also where we will get out of the underworld so to speak right just the deep deep shadow dive and and say hey can we celebrate ourselves with uh, for a quick can we find pleasure and bliss on this earth plane and actually enjoy this crazy crazy ride as humans i think that will be a big big topic as well that we just want to enjoy and obviously when we talk about the collective it's it's multi-layered because it really depends on where an individual is in their own evolution and growth journey i guess and also how much homework they have been doing over the last uh i guess 18 months but specifically since i guess january 2020 where we still had the nodes in cancer and capricorn and we started this cycle of the nodes shifting into taurus and scorpio with venus the ruler um retrograde in capricorn so that's not a coincidence right because so much of her journey in Capricorn has to do with beautifying and building, I guess, building a more beautiful foundation for our life, right? And building a new beautiful foundation of, your, of our lives based on the new values that we have, based on all of the shadows that we've been clearing because Pluto and Venus move, uh, meet basically three times in Capricorn and remember that Venus and Pluto are the new rulers of our destiny. Pluto the ruler of our south node, Venus the ruler of our north node. Not a coincidence right there. That they meet for three times in Capricorn to help us build a new foundation that would lead us into a more beautiful human experience. That's, I would always like to say, cosmic poetry, you know. And even the way I dress today, I mean, it's kind of very Leo, obviously, but it's also very Venus. So I think we will be able to tap into beauty and luxury and sustainable things, things that have value again, um, valuing the earth, valuing the simple things, valuing ourselves, valuing pleasure, valuing cooking a meal and Definitely things, you know, Taurus rules things that are, I don't want to say luxury, but that are just very, very sustainable. So that stay in their worth for a long time, right? So investments, I think investment will be a big thing where people are able to invest in, hopefully invest in themselves more, invest in sustainable assets more, so I think that can be a very beautiful thing because it it leads us away from this fast fashion, fast this, fast this. No, it's like sustainable things that that holds their worth for a long, long time. So I even see like, you know, assets like gold and silver, but then also, you know, 
speaking about crypto like digital gold and silver obviously we don't have to be a genius to know that the next 18 months will be a lot about finances with um, Taurus and Scorpio that's the axis of finances and then the US Pluto return happening during that time so there will be a lot of conversation and thinking about finances our resources being again Taurus self-sustainable um, making sure that we are not dependent on other people's money South Node in Scorpio so a lot of that will be happening as well which I think is another stepping stone of us moving away from this being so attached to the to the to the matrix so to speak to the patriarchy right um which was a big big lesson in you know the, the north Node in cancer finding home and stability and safety inside of yourself right and so now hopefully we've been able to do that at some point maybe you already have a known business or a second stream of income or a third stream of income so not just having all of our eggs in one basket so to speak and then also really you know being able to see your own worth is a big big theme with Taurus as well what is your worth what is the worth that you bring into this world what's the worth that you have as a human being in or as a soul in, in human form, why did you incarnate? Why do you have this physical vessel, the physical body? It's also Taurus, right? And the physical body will obviously be a big topic also in, in regards to the whole, you know, health situation on, on this planet. And especially when we have this year already, Jupiter moving into Pisces and meeting up with Neptune, Neptune ruling viruses and illnesses. So there will be a lot of conversation around health as well and survival, which is the, the you know, the deepest, deepest fear and need of tourists, survival. So, and then also Scorpio ruling injection. So there will be a lot of that happening and we have to see that the earth Taurus and the human body are actually able to work together and to heal together in symbiosis but we have to connect to the earth again in order to realize that just as we have to connect to the body again in order to realize that and how can I take that in my own hands right be in tune with my body in order to understand what my body needs right and needs also being a very Taurus energy so it's a lot about learning yourself and studying yourself and becoming sort of sustainable in all areas of your life when it comes to finances health physical health um, what makes you feel good in life all of these things so I also see that there will be a lot of relationship stuff coming up, which is a beautiful thing because we're, I mean, this North Node is ruled by Venus. So the new Earth, the new world, the new foundation for your life should be ruled by Venus and by love and by beauty and by the feminine, essentially, right? And what I see here is that new, more beautiful, more valuable, more aligned, relationships will be coming together and happening one thing that is very interesting is that in, in march actually we have right before the the third venus pluto conjunction on the 6th of march we have a mars venus conjunction at zero degrees of aquarius on the 3rd of march and i don't think that's a coincidence either at zero degrees of aquarius point being very much an activation point for this new Aquarian age and the new world and however you want to say that. And so I think that's another stepping stone right after this Venus retrograde or after, after the Mercury retrograde, after the nodes shifting into Taurus and Scorpio, right before the third Pluto Venus conjunction. So it's really about the universe showing us what our values are, what our worth is and why we came here and us not settling for less anymore. Really us not settling for less anymore, which means that we have to get out of our shadow. We have to put ourselves into the spotlight of our own life, right? And 
that can be a beautiful experience and it, it leads to this Aquarian age in a very big way because it's all about in the, our individual journey, our individual assignment from Source. I always like to explain Source as this big team that wants to expand, right? Or not Source as as a, has a big mission to expand and then obviously says this mission is so big I need a big fucking team. And so each and every single one of us has an assignment in the grand theme of expansion for the whole, the entire team and if every single team member remembers their part then we would be quicker to expand and grow right and so this Aquarian age is all about remembering why you have this individual journey and being okay with your journey being different because it's obviously very important that you have a different journey we, we Otherwise, we wouldn't split ourselves into so many different fractals and parts. We need all of these different experiences in order to expand and grow. And it's also about finding that worthiness inside of you and that pleasure inside of you and that understanding inside of you that it's okay for you to be different. It doesn't mean that you are a weirdo or that there's something wrong with you or that you are flawed and that you're not good enough. All of these things that are shadow aspects of that Taurus archetype which has so much to do again at the end of the day with self-love and, and self-worth and at the end of these 18 months I really pray that we were able to see and experience and remember our worth here and the reason why we came here and enjoy that so so much and also enjoy this human experience because one thing that i think is very sad and it even makes me sad for the earth is that a lot of people especially in the spiritual community are all about ascending higher and higher and leaving this place and the earth is awful and the humans are awful and all of these things and that's not true it's just a perspective that we have, but the earth is actually paradise. It's heaven on earth. And she wants to be honored and appreciated for that. She gives us everything, everything we need. And there's abundance everywhere and beauty everywhere in the simple things. And I think that's what we will remember over this next 18 months, at least I pray so. And also realizing, like letting go of all of these illusions and fears around survival and money and that we would end up under the bridge. And I think our whole relationship to money will change and to resources will change in a very big way. In a very big way that definitely is, is a stepping stone for the future where we don't put specific resources on a pedestal or only you know label money as abundance um, we will appreciate and see abundance in so many different forms which is beautiful and feel so much more grateful for this human experience um, so i'm excited i'm excited to see how it unfolds i'm excited to see everyone blossoming like a venus rose right and also again i definitely feel like it will be a lot about relationships and obviously very natural if you know your worth and you know what you want and you don't settle for less then you are more likely to really attract the right partner for you so less trauma bonding less less toxic bonding let's just say less less less, less mind con not mind control but power struggles i guess and more deep loving relationships that's what i feel which is what we deserve we've done so much inner work so it's time to meet the mirror and it's time to experience your limitlessness your abundance and your bliss and your pleasure but again it really depends on how much you've worked through that south node in sagittarius and that north node in gemini seeing everything from a different perspective especially your own thoughts, especially your own mind, especially your own programming, because then you will wake up from the illusion and will realize that Earth is actually heaven. We actually are already in heaven. So I'm excited to see how it unfolds, as I said before. 
please leave down below how you feel about these notes shifting and yeah if you would like to have a forecast for your next 18 months you can always reach out for a reading especially if these eclipses in taurus and scorpio are touching personal planets for you if you are taurus or scorpio or you have the notes in taurus or scorpio yourself maybe a nodal flip whatever it may be reach out for a reading for a heads up and um, yeah all of my other services are down below in the show notes of course no in the info box and yeah i will definitely talk more about it on my instagram so be sure to check out my instagram where i share weekly insights about the energy of the astrology of right now and also on my podcast i share episodes all about the current energies so with all of that being said step into your most divine self over the next 18 months have a beautiful 2022 and a beautiful shift into taurus and scorpio step into your magic <laughs>